Hey, what's up guys, Garden here, coming you guys with a brand new topic video today, and today I kind of wanted to talk about something that hasn't really been talked about that much, which, uh, you know, to no one's fault really, um, we're going to be talking about the Overdress series, or the new generation of Vanguard that's coming out this year, and um, yeah, it's going to be the 10 year anniversary, and uh, it's really surprising that we haven't really heard anything um, about this uh, new series, uh, the only thing that we got was that trailer from last year, as well as the image, you know, with the phoenix. Um, I think there was a girl character on there and then an egg of some form. So people are speculating about what that could be. Um, but yeah, it's it's quite strange. You know, we haven't really heard much about this series in terms of what they have planned. But um, the community has had some ideas in terms of what they might do or what they could do. And uh, I kind of wanted to talk about those and sort of where I sort of stand on this. And where I kind of hope the game was going to go, right? So the first thing is the idea of a rotation or a reboot, right? Um, first of all, I don't think either of these are going to happen, and I do have some reasons why. So rotation, I feel like, is just too complicated to implement into the way Vanguard's structure is in terms of how they release sets. Uh, Vanguard's not really well known for reprinting stuff that often, and you know, if you compare it to a game like Pokemon or Magic, they tend to just you know make new versions of the Pokemon, or they make like a reprint of a magic card and like a core set, right? So I feel like it's much more manageable in those games, whereas in Vanguard it's more like a structured game in terms of like they have their main sets and then they've got the extra boosters and then they'll have like one or two maybe offsets where they might reprint some stuff in there. But um it's just not as frequent. So I feel like a rotation would just make make it more messy since you'll have like staple like cards that'll be from like older sets that you'll probably need in a modern day strategy here and there. Of course, most of the older cards might not be used, but there might be like that one card that would be like, ah, I, I really need that for my deck, but I can't use it, you know? Uh, so unless it got like a reprint or something, it would make it a bit more awkward, which I don't think is a direction that Busher would want to go in. And then a reboot is an idea. I mean, the thing is, because Busher would have rebooted the game once, people think that they might do it again, which is less likely I think because I feel like the reason they did it in the first place at the end of G was that I feel like at the end of G the game kind of got bottlenecked in terms of where it could go in the future since whatever new mechanic you would implement it would have to outdo G units but it would also have to sort of like you know balance the new mechanic around the structure of the game in terms of what was like relevant at the time in terms of like the powerful cards that we had and you got to remember as well they just implemented the Xeroth Dragons as well in the final like what was it, uh, GBT 13 and 14? Um, was it that, or was it 14? No, 14 was the final set, yeah. Uh, 13 was when they make the Xeroth Dragons, and then it was like, you know, the, the extra boosters as well. So, yeah, they've kind of got a bit of an awkward situation on their hands, because, like, let's say if they did go in the direction of a reboot, I, I really doubt this, because I do think they want to, like, remake every card again. And there are some cards in the old Vanguard that they haven't touched yet, like... Daikai's is one of them, of course, since, you know, Different Fight kind of took a big oof there uh, with that reveal. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, Ben. But, um, yeah, it's like, yeah, there, there was another unit as well that I thought of, which I really thought they were going to bring back, which was Thingsaver Dragon. Because Thingsaver did get a mention in the anime in, like, one of the older episodes. Um, and I thought, oh, man, they might bring Thingsaver back. And they haven't. But, yeah, maybe that one's a bit more awkward because... Um, yeah, I think Blaster Blade was the Legion mate, and yeah, I don't know how that would work with the modern day one, so maybe call Blaster Blade in some regard, but who knows. But uh, yeah, I really do think they want to bring back all of the old units and remake them in some way, so I don't think they'll uh, reboot the game in that way. Um, but you've also got to ask the question, well, why would you reboot the game, right? Why would you do it? And I think the main, the main uh, point of content here is Power Creep. Um, I think most people would agree that the game has power crept way, way too fast this past year. Um, you know, the first half a year, well, the first year and a half, I say, was okay. You had a couple of outliers here and there, and of course, the protect meta was kind of annoying initially. But I felt like the game was okay. And then I feel like it was from set five and set six onwards, you know, the Gansalot and Mordred set. I feel like from that point onwards, it kind of just got more and more like like higher ceiling in terms of the power creep um there was kind of like a stale period of the time where we're in the shin arc um with those sets 
Um, I felt like the game was kind of okay in terms of where it was going. Uh, it didn't really scale up that badly. But yeah, 2020 was just um, immaculate for the amount of power creep that happened during it. And of course, one of the outliers there was that they did have to delay some of the sets, I think, for... Was it both sides or was it just English? I can't remember. Um, but yeah, the uh, COVID kind of affected the release schedule. So we kind of had that awkward period where sets were coming out like one after the other within like a couple of weeks. And it was like quite overwhelming, really. Um, but, you know, it is what it is, right? Um, and then, of course, we had the whole like, you know, Luard fiasco as well. That was uh, a thing that happened. And then, of course, recently um, in December, Gurgwit came out, which... You know, <laughs> I mean, it's just one after the other, right? So I don't really know exactly uh, what they could do in terms of, of direction, but I do feel like there's more room for improvement, right? I feel like there's room to make the game better, um, although it is going to be quite tough with where the game's at at the moment. So let's talk about where I would like to see the game go, right? I've talked about, you know, the idea of a reboot and a rotation. I don't really think that's going to happen. So what do I think would happen, right? Um, well, I think they will continue with the V-Series cards. Like, they want to keep uh, the existing card pool that they've created with the V-Series and just continue with it. Uh, you know, keep bringing older units back. Uh, hopefully, we'll get some of those familiar faces. Uh, hopefully, bring some new faces to the scene. I think we'd all like to see, like, you know, like, maybe the new protagonist would have, like, a new unit that we can identify with and some people can get used to. Um but yeah, it'll be interesting to see exactly if there's going to be any new mechanics or anything. Um, the only thing that I can really think about that they might do is maybe develop the order mechanic further because orders really didn't get touched that much. Like we had that quick shield, we had the quick shield for going second, but I really don't think that's enough, right, to facilitate going second being better. I mean, it depends on your deck, right? Because some decks prefer going second since they want your opponent to be at a grade three to get their full effect. But it really doesn't matter. And, you know, Gurgut's kind of got a bit, a bit of an advantage there because he's good going first and second, right? So, yeah, that grade three turn can be quite brutal at times. But um, we will have to see where they go with that. So if they did um, decide to go with the auto mechanic and making it better, we might have seen indication of this already that they might try make them in, in a direction of maybe G Guardians because... Uh, we have a Royal Paladin order already, um, and I think there was like the Bang Dream one as well from that special set that uh, Japan got. Um, I think English is getting that at some point as well, but I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, we saw like Gurgwit, for example, has that interactive skill on him where you can counter blast to, you know, guard against the opponent instead. Um, so maybe that's like a slight indication that we might we might start to see more of that within card design. And I kind of hope that is the case since... I think with the current power level of cards right now, um, they've kind of toned it down a fair bit in the um, the clan selection. Of course, we're still waiting for cards like Ashley, and uh, we're also waiting for, like, um, what do you call them, uh, Chaos Breaker to be revealed. So, yeah. And I think I heard the other day that uh, <laughs> one of the new Link Joker units, uh, it's going back to that um, design where you can actually lock your opponent's units. So... I will admit I am bricking myself about that, um, <laughs> so we'll see where it goes. Um, but yeah, if that's like any sort of indication of where they're going with that, uh, Chaos Breaker might be quite nutty, um, to say the least. But we'll have to see. Um, but yeah, the uh, the clan selection, um, that is another point of content I actually want to talk about a little bit, is that that's coming out and, we, and, and they're doing this product announce stream in a couple of weeks, which... That doesn't really line up for me because it's like, imagine they said, oh, yeah, guys, we're rebooting the game. And then it's like, oh, clan selection, by the way, get that. And it's like, uh, no, <laughs> you know what I mean? So that doesn't really make any sense. Um, But yeah, that's kind of like the overall, uh, the overall stuff that I wanted to talk about about this. It's kind of a weird time because I, I can't really remember a period where we've gone in this blindly in terms of like not knowing things. Um, But I am looking forward to see what they've got to offer with Overdress. Um. I think with me, frankly, I I'll accept anything. Like, I think with me and Vanguard, I like the game so much that I'm just going to keep playing it until I get to the point where I'm like, you know what, I'm done. But I don't really feel that on me, like, at any point, really. Um, Like, I'm quite a casual player, really, when it comes to the game. Like, if I play the game more competitively, then maybe I could understand burning out on it and, you know, getting sick of it with the whole, like, power creep stuff. 
Um, but for me, as a casual perspective, um, I'm looking forward to see what Overdress might offer. Um, but yeah, I could probably see the order mechanic being developed on maybe. Uh, they might bring some other mechanic um, into it, but I really cannot think of any ideas for it. Um, so I want to pass the question on to you guys. What do you guys think that Overdress might offer? Uh, what do you think they might do to try improve the game? And um, yeah, just give me your thoughts because I want this to be sort of like a nice conversation that we can have a back a back and forth. Like I think this, I think that. Um, I hope they do this. I hope they do that. We'll have to see because we have a couple of weeks before they do this product announce stream, um, which I'm looking forward to because uh, God, I, I want to know, right? <laughs> I want to know. Tell tell us something. You know what's going on. Um, but yeah, we'll have to just see what happens. Um, but yeah, that's going to be me for the video. I want to keep this kind of short and concise. Um, there's plenty of other things I could go into a bit more, but that's kind of the general gist of things. So yeah, thank you guys very much for listening to the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, like the video if you liked it, subscribe to the channel for more videos, and I will see you guys in the next one. So this is Guardian285 signing out.